Maybe for a palate cleanser, we can watch Marjorie Taylor Greene get called out to her face. That's always a little bit fun of fun. And this was an unlikely, un, an unlikely form, I would say. Maybe, may, I don't know. Maybe I'm I'm making assumptions. But Marjorie Taylor Greene was in a uh, she she did a teletown hall at a local TV station in her district uh, back back home in Georgia, and a woman called in, basically to say that. Marjorie Taylor Greene's a clown. We have two clips here, and we'll play the, the longer one first, and then the shorter one when she hangs up on her. Because this was a local TV station, finding the whole clip was basically impossible, although Bradley did try. Here is the first part of this, uh, in which this woman calls out Marjorie Taylor Greene to her face. It's fun. We accepted Trump for four years. You all refused to accept Biden. You refused to do it. And we, you know, we, maybe we didn't like Trump, but he won, and so that was it. You all, you all are not, you will not accept the fact that Joe Biden won. And that is the whole thing. You're not going to accept it. You're going to keep on and keep on and just peck, peck, peck. Yeah, and you won't get anything done. If you're not going to respect the man and realize that he's the president, you're not ever going to get anything done. You've got to work together, and you are not doing it. You're not doing it, and neither are the other Republicans. They're, they're just going with Trump. No, he didn't win it. He didn't win it. And wasted that all the money in Georgia have to count the votes three times because he said he won, and he didn't. And then the the woman good for, I, so, the, good for her good for her well, well hold on it's not even done yet because she basically has a closing one uh, this is like a very short clip but she closes it off and hangs up on marjorie taylor green and god i just love watching her have to take it and listen to this woman as she's ripping her a new one hello go ahead uh yes i just want to say thank god for joe biden she is an embarrassment to the state of Georgia. Well, we all have our opinions. Amen to that, and I've got mine. <laughs> all righty, thank you. So maybe I don't know if that was the beginning or the end. Again, we tried, but like I also loved. I think that was the same woman. The landline in the background just keeping ringing and stuff, and that's how you know she's probably an older woman uh, who just has no pro like no f's to give anymore, and just is like I'm gonna call in and tell this woman what I really think about her. It was great. It's nice to hear that sentiment from Republicans because usually it's like Democrats are like, please work with Trump. Like he's, he's he won. Do we know that she was a Republican? I, I well, I guess I don't know, but um, she is. Like di but this is like a, this is a constituent of her district. Her district is like literally ninety eight percent Trump. Voters. There's a great right. chance that that's the case, but but yeah, I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume someone calling in to say God bless Joe Biden is is definitely not a Republican. I mean, Fair even enough. the Republicans who held their nose and voted for Biden because they didn't like Trump are not going around saying. God bless Joe Biden. I mean, we even aren't saying God bless Joe Biden. <laughs> yeah, I think the affection for our political parties, like Democrats and Republican across the board, like actual affection, like cognizant, like thinking about is very low. And like, you know, a lot of these Republicans, a lot of, just like a lot of these Democrats are manufacturing like very big schisms between themselves and members of their party who otherwise would have just been happy to call themselves Republicans for the rest of their lives without giving it two thoughts because they were raised in Georgia or raised in a certain district. We have a lot of cultural Republicans, a lot of cultural Democrats in this country who are now being forced to really examine that stance, just like you no know, Democrats were forced to examine it under Trump more with everything that was going on. And Republicans are being were forced to as well. And like, ideally, it'll lead to some, you know, some real thoughtfulness when it comes to people engaging in politics not the kind where people pretend like everyone should never out to vote but like no like people actually calling in and like <laughs> yelling at their uh res not respondent yelling at their uh representative yeah yeah i mean yeah. i think what we could take out of that clip is that you know like uh uh, don't don't judge someone based on where they live or, or how they sound, because, you know, a lot of, you know, a lot of people uh, probably would have judged that woman just by hearing her voice that she, she might be a probably a Marjorie Taylor Green supporter, you know, Georgia with a southern accent. No, no, don't 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 be so judgmental. It is never a bad time to yell at your your representative. You know, they're probably not shit. 
no offense, but they probably aren't. So you might as well. And even if they are, they could still use you good yelling at. I'm being told that that was two different calls. So whatever. I mean, double the fun. Double the fun for so uh, at least two Democratic voters in Marjorie Taylor Greene's district, even though it's very Trump heavy. At least two. Then. That's good. That's better. Or at least non Marjorie Taylor Greene voters. Uh, people haven't completely lost it in her district. Uh, at right, least right. there are a few. So. Thank thank God for that. <laughs> thank God for that. <laughs> 